Repo Men. Brought to you by the Repo Men Training Kit. Repo Men is kind of like Repo the Genetic Opera, but kind of not. Okay, so in Repo Men, we live in a world where for the price of a couple of houses and an APR that makes a shitty Sears charge card look like Capital One Gold, you can replace your shitty dying organs with nice shiny synthetic ones. Now, the bummer is if you fall behind on your payments, the union will send a Repo Man to knock at your door and reclaim their property by ripping it out of you. <laughs> yeah. Jude Law and Forrest Whitaker happen to play a couple of those Repo Men. And as the trailer showed us, something happens to Jude Law where he receives an artificial organ and he knows exactly how this is all going to play out. Which is funny because that's kind of how you feel in this movie. Not going to lie, this movie's pretty predictable. It's kind of like Minority Report with less brains. And so when devoted Repo Man Jude Law falls behind on his payments, the cat and mouse game between him and Ghost Dog is on. Sounds cool, right? It kind of was. Should have been more cool, though. I mean, they just could have done more with that aspect. I mean, these two have known each other since grade school, and now they're on opposing sides of a system. A system that leads to death. I mean, they touched a little bit on the whole, like, oh, I don't want to do this, this sucks. But they touched way more on Jude Law and that chick from I Am Legend. It's kind of a waste. I just wanted to know what Ghost Dog thought. And the directing was weird. It was just really inconsistent, you know? Like, it starts out kind of sarcastic and funny, not like a comedy, kind of like... Dexter directed by Guy Ritchie with voiceovers. I thought it was cool. And then it goes from that to like really morose and just kind of goes nowhere. It goes everywhere, but it really went nowhere. And then back to sarcastic with voiceovers and then back to serious and then back to sarcastic and back to serious. And it was like it was directed by two different people. That's what it felt like. It felt like two different directors were fighting over this movie. But in Minority Report Light, AKA Repo Men, Jude Law and Forrest Whitaker were actually really good. I liked them. They were a good duo. It worked. But it goes to show you that good acting within an average movie just comes out to good acting within an average movie. It doesn't make the movie any better. But at the end of this movie, there's this one fight scene between Jude Law and a few guys that really reminded me of that slow-mo knife scene from V for Vendetta. But it was badass. Because it involved knives and hacksaws and hammers. It was your basic death by the content of your dad's toolbox scenario. If that's basic. And Jude Law's wife was, yeah, useless. And bitchy. Like, what's your problem? I mean, it's like, lady, look, yeah, your husband rips out people's organs, leaving them twitching and dying in a pool of their own blood. Sure, but come on. I mean, have a heart. Oh! Oh, yeah. That was a heart joke. And by the end of this movie, I mean literally by the last frame, I liked the movie enough. But it's not enough for me to sit here and say you need to see this movie. I mean, it had solid acting and it was a cool premise. That was mixed with wasted potential, inconsistent directing, and useless moments. Which I suppose is kind of the same as wasted potential. Number system, it's about a 6 out of 10. Maybe 6.5 because of the very end. But that's my final answer. 6.5 out of 10. Hey, let's face it, there's a reason these movies come out in March. And as a reminder, I'm still collecting donations for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. The link is in the sidebar if you want to make a donation. Even one dollar is well appreciated. It all goes towards a very good cause, carrying leukemia and lymphoma. So thank you guys for your time. More vids to come. <laughs> Fucking pencil.